I screwed up. We fully slept through and now I'm so thirsty. More than that, I'm like super duper disappointed because one of my ultimate goals um, is to pray everything like on time, all the time. Um, and of course, because we slept through, um, I miss Father this morning. I wanted to turn my day around and start it off good, even though <laughs> there was a bit of a fail this morning, but I just wanted to get it back on track with some yoga. I really feel like it helps. What's up guys? I'm gonna go to the grocery now. I just have to pick up like minced beef and um, a little bit more turmeric because I'm running out. Uh, and I think Kenzim just has to pick up something from the drugstore. So that is what we're gonna do. You guys didn't see him much yesterday. Do you wanna say hi now? Oh. It's raining pretty hard right now. Oh. Okay, so we're back from the mall. <sighs> so hot. I think because um, it's like still on a semi lockdown, there's very little people in the mall, so they don't turn on the AC like fully, and it's just so freaking hot. Um, we got our packages as well. Um, ordered a bunch of stuff like skincare and stuff like that um, that we're running low off. Okay, so I was right, it was our skincare products. So I got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Um, a water gel moisturizer. I love this so much and then just the mild liquid cleanser um, I love Neutrogena. I know it's like such a simple basic um, What's this brand at the drugstore, but I swear to you it works like a gem and I just love it so much for my skin um, This other thing I think is my husband's mask. He likes the mask from, um, Origins Origins <laughs> Yeah, I'll actually just open the plastic, but I'll let him open the box. He's like a child, he likes receiving packages, so I'll just leave this one for him. <laughs> he's actually in a bit of a mood right now because he's craving cake so much for some reason. I have no idea why, but I don't know if I already mentioned it to you guys, but he's... I have him avoiding um, dairy right now because of his um, skin issues. And he loves dairy, loves cheese. He drinks this like mocha thing every single day from coffee bean and tea leaf. Um, and he hasn't had it in like a month now. Yeah, he hasn't had it in a month. He's been really good. I think because of Ramadan and he's just hungry and stuff like that, all of these cravings are just coming up to the surface now. Um, and he wants like ice cream, he wants cake and everything. So I'm trying to like, motivate him like come on you've gone this far just last through it but i'm also actively trying to find like dairy free options of cake and like ice cream and stuff like that there is this really good ice cream that we actually eat um and it's made from coconut milk i think it's really frozen so i don't know if you'll be able to see it but i think it's called uh by super scoops yeah super scoops and they make really good ice cream. It tastes absolutely amazing. You can't really taste the coconut cream in it or anything. Um, and like, I don't know if you've had dairy, dairy free ice cream before. A lot of them are made out of like soy milk and soy milk has this very specific taste that I know my husband doesn't like and he hates soy. So this is a really good option. He likes that one. The other stuff I just got is beef mints. Um, I have two 500 grams of beef mints there. One of them I'm gonna make into like beef patties now and the other maybe like um, like chicken, chili con carne uh, sometime during the week. Something really easy that's like my main thing when I'm trying to cook something. I don't I don't like complicated dishes. I don't actually don't like being in the kitchen <laughs> that long. Like I think I can last maybe like an hour, two hours tops if a recipe requires anything more than that. We're not doing it. I'm just gonna put these in our bathroom. I love the smell of this thing so much. It's just like one of those um, diffuse type of um, home smells I got from, uh, what's this, Shopee? Um, and it's in the scent Shangri-La. I'll put a link to it down below if you're in the Philippines and you're interested in like one of these things. I just like it because you don't have to do much with it. It doesn't use any energy or anything like that. Um, and it's just gonna make the entire like space smell really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna um, put this away. 
I'll show you guys like how much of this stuff I use. So this is the one that I obviously um, use. It's like fully, fully gone. Maybe I could get like one little swipe out of that and put it like, I don't know, on my face somewhere. Um, but I was definitely due to getting um, a new one and then I was out of this as well. So it goes there. I really need to clean up the sink area because there's just random stuff here that shouldn't be here. Um, this is almost gone as well. That's why I went ahead and got a new one. But maybe I can show you guys my skincare routine later, um, but no promises. Honestly, after I eat iftar, I'm just so ready to um, what's this, go to sleep. <laughs> I was defrosting some brisket here, but Tanzim had a craving of KFC, so I'm not gonna say no to KFC. So I think I'm just gonna leave this for now and maybe just cook it tomorrow. Okay, so we are back in the kitchen now. I do have the exhaust on, so I don't know if you guys can hear me very well, but I'm gonna get started on making for iftar. So I just have 500 grams of beef mince here, half a teaspoon of salt here, and then I'm going to take half a teaspoon of pepper as well. Really rough estimates for the way. I'm also going to take one teaspoon of coriander, coriander powder, just a little bit, <laughs> and then um, just one teaspoon of like ginger garlic paste. I'm gonna mix everything together so that all the flavor comes out while the meat is cooking. This is going to be like our side dish type of thing, like a little snack because um, like I said, my husband wants to eat um, KFC tonight. So yeah, this is just something on the side. I went ahead and added um, some fresh coriander and also one whole large onion chopped. And now I'm just going to fry them up a bit. And then after this is done, I'm just going to put them on some already made like puff pastry and then I'm going to put them in the air fryer to cook. So this is the beef mince after I've placed it in the, um, what's this, the pastry. So I'm just going to put that in my air fryer and leave it for 15 minutes or so. So this is how the puff pastry turned out. They're so cute. They're so puffy. I'm just I'm making some garlic bread over there as well. And then Tanzim just went to get um, the KFC downstairs. I still have to put that away. That's our laundry. What's up guys? It's a little later in the evening now. Um, we've had iftar and everything, alhamdulillah. Uh, and I just actually finished one of my tests um, for ear, nose, and throat. And honestly, I feel really like overwhelmed right now because I'm looking at my um, exam schedule or test schedule for even just for tomorrow and it's just crazy and I have no idea how I'm gonna deal with everything honestly um, so usually what I do is I like to prep for um, iftar around like 5 p.m. because um, iftar is usually at, at like 6 10 um, but then I do have a my, my tests start at um, 7 p.m. And it's like non-stop until 10 30 and then i have to think about like cleaning everything up and stuff like that and still making it in time for bed where uh i get enough sleep because then i have to obviously wake up for sahur which is around around like um 3 30 in the morning and i, I don't know i'm just I, don't know, I feel like i'm struggling to just come up with a strategy so that I could do everything um, and that's just for tomorrow like it's not even exam week yet so I don't even know how I'm gonna handle exam week where we obviously have like more tests and more demand and everything so yeah that's just how I'm feeling right now I'm so sorry that this vlog is probably gonna end at such a negative note but I'm just like letting you guys know how I'm like feeling right now um if you have any suggestions on maybe like 
a good way to like meal prep and stuff like that. I think that I definitely like um, didn't meal prep well enough um, and I'm trying to make all these like meals fresh every single day um, which is not working. <laughs> I mean, it's only the second day as well, um, but that's just the reality of like trying to balance like mid school and also housework. But yeah, if you guys have any like nice instant pot recipes, something that's very easy for me to just throw in and like let the machine do its thing type of um, recipes, let me know. I know like beef stews and stuff like that are usually a go to for like busy households, but I don't actually know too many. Um, beef stew recipes and stuff like that so uh, if you guys recommend any let me know in the comments down below or if you um, have any recommendations on like a way to like meal prep or any tips of any sort like that just let me know um, I am new to this so I'm still like learning everything and stuff like that so yeah anyways I'm gonna end the vlog here before I get any more negative <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching um, and I hope to see you tomorrow.